So a couple of weeks ago, I was on Good Mythical Morning with Rhett and Link, and we reviewed some strange TikTok home products. Oh, no! 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 It was pretty fun. Thanks, Rhett and Link. But it got me thinking, what if I went on TikTok and bought every product that I possibly could? People like Sophia Nygaard and my buddy Drew Gooden have done this sort of thing before, but now it's my turn. So that's what you'll be seeing today, a few months ago, where I bought some stuff, and today, where I'll be trying some stuff, and also trying to figure out what the hell it is that I bought. Please excuse the mess, I am moving, and so the other part of this video will probably not be in the same place that I am now. But I don't know that because I'm not in the future like you are. Anyway, we're gonna look at some TikTok products that I haven't seen yet. I'm excited, I'm ready, my wallet is ready. If something strikes my fancy, then I'm gonna buy it and then I'm gonna try it. Okay, let's get into the products, shall we? Hello and welcome back to What Did I Buy? <laughs> uh, literally, what did I buy? I don't remember. It's been two months since I reacted to a number of TikTok products and then purchased them. In those two months, some of them are here um, and some of them we will find out, I guess, as we go. They're not here um, and <laughs> we've been ripped off and stolen from. And you know, so it goes. I think we should just get started. So I genuinely do not remember what is in these packages. So I'm just gonna start opening stuff <laughs> and we're gonna try to identify what we've got. Oh, it's a, uh, <laughs> it's a torture device. <laughs> um, what the hell? <laughs> Wait, micro needle derma roller. Now, a lot of the things that I bought in this video, I'm not going to remember because it was a few months since I bought them. But this thing, I actually didn't buy. Uh, I think I bought something else that they didn't send me. And so, uh, false start. Let's try again. Ooh, why do I have? I'm gonna look at my email and see. This is not a product we ordered. Does it feel good? No. Are you finding yourself so busy scrolling your TikTok feed for new useless products to buy that you don't have time to meal prep? Same, actually, which is why I use today's sponsor, Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever. Their team of gourmet chefs create each meal using only ingredients of integrity that help you feel your best all day long. I'm a busy guy, you know this. There's lots of TikTok products to buy. And this holiday season, I'm busier than ever, but thanks to Factor, I save time with meals delivered ready to heat and eat in just two minutes. Knowing I have my factor meals in the fridge stops me from eating unhealthy foods or spending too much on takeout. And this is true. It really does help me with that. Factor now offers 34 meal options a week with over 36 add-ons from juice to smoothies to snacks and more. There's always a lot of variety and I can mix it up. Need a special occasion meal? Gourmet Plus is the perfect solution if you're looking for fast upscale options done easy. And if I'm traveling, it's easy to pause or reschedule my deliveries or change the amount of meals that I'm getting. It's a really flexible plan. I've been enjoying Factor for years now and they help make mealtime hassle-free. Head on over to go.factor75.com slash Jarvis60 and use promo code Jarvis60 to get 60% off your first Factor box. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring this video. Now back to buying garbage. When I get a cleaning gadget on TikTok. It seems like it does an awful lot. I do love a cleaning gadget, and I guess I don't specifically have a tool to clean my AirPods specifically. So let's buy it. Seven in one keyboard cleaner kit, laptop cleaner, computer headphone cleaning kit, tablet and screen dusting brush includes soft sweep swipe, three in one AirPod cleaning pen, key puller and spray bottle. Let's get it in pink. Here we go, moment of truth. Number one, multi-functional cleaning brush. I do kind of remember this. Here it is. Oh, and there's a, how does this come out? Oh, so it's got a little brush. Uh, allow me to brush one of the six cantaloupe that I have here. <laughs> don't ask why, don't ask why. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, wait, let me get a, let me get a dirty keyboard. This, uh, this here keyboard has been dirtied um, professionally and not by my regular use. <laughs> um, so I'm not dirty, That's we did that on purpose. Sure. <laughs> just uh, that, <laughs> whoop. Uh, just brushing my keyboard. 
I hope it's off. Okay, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> That's ASMR. 10 hours. Jarvis brushing a keyboard. Um, it's still pretty dirty. <laughs> okay, but there's other things this does. There's like this little strip of fabric that I think might be for cleaning screens. I've got this iPad screen here where there's a dried slobber from my dog. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> oh, and then there's a spray. It is unlabeled cleaning liquid chipped from China. <laughs> um, I'm gonna spray a little bit on the dipper slobber. Dipper, leave it. Okay, it successfully sprayed something. It doesn't have an odor, but I am feeling lightheaded. I believe this, <laughs> what are these objects? I think that, like, look at this. No, okay, so this I think is maybe for AirPod cleaning, but there's also this thing. Uh, no, it's it's a little tip for cleaning an AirPod. And then there's a tiny little brush, I guess, also for cleaning an AirPod. I don't know what this, like, little fuzzy leg thing is for, though. But it's cool. I mean, this does look... It looks like it gets into those nooks and crannies. You know, those nooks and crannies? We've all got nooks and crannies to clean. <laughs> I mean, this honestly doesn't seem bad by any means. Now, I did spray... I forgot that I sprayed my iPad with stuff, and I don't know what I'm supposed to clean it with. Maybe I do this. Yeah. Oh, that was effective. Look at that. That's the cleaning area and then that's the dirty area. So it cleaned up the slobber and I think that that's what this was for. I hope, I hope that that's what that was for. Cool, it is nice that it comes with a little spray bottle. That's pretty, that's pretty handy. This is very um, efficient seeming. No, this one genuinely I do appreciate the engineering. This, this is from Amazon, so this can't be right, but we'll open it anyway. What on God's green earth is this? Okay, okay, if you're asking if it was a necessary purchase, uh, I don't really have an answer for you, buddy. But if you're asking if I think everybody on this planet- Why am I grossed out by this? <laughs> First of all, this bottle doesn't look like it's milk. It looks like it's some sort of cleaning agent. And then the bottle pissing milk into the bowl is also not my style. I'm a simple man. I like to pour milk second, cereal first, you know, not like a heathen. Needs one of them. <laughs> Something funny about it. The answer's a little obvious. You have to put AA batteries into it as well. I feel like that's a little unnecessary. Magic electric tap, automatic drink dispenser, automated bottle water dispenser, automatic drinking straw for collecting milk. <laughs> I think it does the opposite of collecting milk. Beverage, beer, family, outdoor, portable leak flu leak proof overflow pre prevention. I love just a nice keyword stuffed title. Just every possible keyword. They may as well have added like finger family Elsa Spider-Man to the end of this because it reminds me of those fucking kids videos from Elsa Gate. Okay, so we're buying this. We're buying this. Thankfully, it's in stock and it's coming soon. It's actually quite cheap. $9. I guess the, the real cost is uh, in AA batteries. Automatic drink dispenser, home kitchen, one piece. I looks like I'm watching a birth. <laughs> and then it comes with a straw and also a cleaning brush for the straw. Is this a part of it or is this just like complimentary? This is battery powered? How do we... Oh, you put in batteries. <laughs> no, it says double A, but they like don't fit. I, you have to like force the... It's like kind of flimsy, cheap plastic. I'll use my handy dandy YouTube water bottle. Ew, there's nasty shit in here. Kind of like YouTube. Does it need to be airtight for this to work? Because I could use a bigger bottle. This, this... That is really... <laughs> is this how this goes? I'm an adult. Oh! <laughs> it's like... No, not practical at all. <laughs> it's like slobbering out the drink. Oh, hey, thanks for coming to my place. Have a seat. Could I get you a beverage? You would like a water? I've got just the thing. Hold still. We're living in the life of luxury. It's like such a pathetic stream of water. It's like we have pouring. Um, <laughs> we've already invented pouring. I'm just trying to think of why you would use this. I got nothing. I don't want to think of another liquid because that just seems like it would clog it up. 
Also, I don't know how you clean this. I guess the brush is for cleaning maybe the inside tube. This looks like a vein. This looks like a true, this like, it looks like an organ. It's like the soft plastic. It's like an umbilical cord. <laughs> this is for ambiotic fluid. They use this in hospitals. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they did what? What was that? You didn't want water? You actually wanted a cup of milk? I've got that. Lactate, you know, because I'm lactose intolerant, not sponsored. <laughs> it doesn't fit. It's too girthy. So because it doesn't fit, I know what you're thinking. There's no way to get out the milk from the thing. So I have the perfect idea. Um, we'll use what's called a transitory device. We'll pour a glass of milk here. Aha! Now. <laughs> milk anyone? Now, um, this is covered in milk. <laughs> There's milk inside of this that's going to curdle immediately. I, I kind of just want to throw this away. Final thoughts. Because the automatic drink dispenser for home kitchens solves a real problem in many of our homes, I give it a 10 out of 10. Cheers. Huh? Okay, so it's a it's a ladle. Any food you want, pour it through this thing, and now it's poo poo. <laughs> and now it's doo doo water, actually. I guess it's some sort of strainer that gets rid of the fat in the broth. Soup fat oil separator, ladle oil filmer, skip skimmer spoon soup colander for kitchen gravy food fat separator skimmer spoon <laughs> it's like a tongue twister it's just a ladle um okay so it appears that we just have a ladle i so i think that in the TikToks, special ladle was able to like help separate fat from your soup but this is just like a real device with like a real purpose i think it was in this moment that i realized that the magic of TikTok had convinced me to just buy a regular kitchen utensil. Why did I buy this? Probably because the TikTok was weird. This is literally just a ladle, which I didn't have before. So now I have a ladle. When I get a massage brush on TikTok. It doesn't look like a massage brush. It looks like you're doing that for cleaning. When I get a massage brush on TikTok. Also, that was a trick shot they fucking threw it at the wall <laughs> i mean i want to try it shower foot massage pad bath massage pad shower foot massager scrubber scrubber <laughs> they got me in scrubber scrubber this <laughs> looks like a furry butt you'll notice the suction cups on the back this is for putting in the shower and then you rub your back against it or your feet for a massage Okay. Mission failed. We'll get next time. So, welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> Dipper's here as well. Um, I think the idea is that you, like, stick it to the wall. You just, like, you do this. So I'm like, mm, no. I mean, it just feels like rubber. You know, I hope I don't break out. And if I do, I can ladle the fat away from my face. Oh, $32 portable ice ball maker from Amazon. Would you buy it? Hold on. Whoa. So I need this. I need this. I need it. We've hit a snag. I found the product on Amazon. It's $27. It looks like the thing in the video, but for $2 and 83 cents, I found it on AliExpress. Now, do I think that this Amazon seller is just drop shipping from AliExpress? Yeah, that's probably what's happening here. And, and the margin is gigantic. So we're going to buy both and we're going to compare products because I'm a bit of a detective in that way and see which is the better product. The one I paid $2.83 for or the one that cost 10 times the price. I love spending money. I love this. I'm having so much fun. And let's buy this one for 
freaking 10 times the price. Let's move on to this um, ominous gray package. This looks like a little ice tray. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It is a little ice tray, but it's not the little ice tray I ordered. I wanted spherical ice. This is just normal. <laughs> Who can possibly use an ice tray that's this big? Who is this for? This isn't a uniquely shaped ice. What do you mean? I have ice right here. Maybe the ice cubes are special. Sure. Maybe they're like small but mighty, you know? Mm -hmm. So Dipper's chomping on the ice that just fell on the floor. He's enjoying himself. So I will, I'll bite, I'll make some ice. So now I'm going to take my tiny little ice tray. Maybe this is an ice tray for ants. Maybe this is an ice tray for tiny little, tiny people who were like, they're just like us, but everything is scaled down by 90%. <laughs> you know, it's nice that there's a lid, but it's not, it's not attaching. So that's a bummer. But yeah, this isn't the ice tray that I ordered. Complicated ass fridge. I moved. <laughs> I don't know where anything is or what anything is. I really like the green package. This, this color has been aesthetically pleasing to me this whole time. Ooh. Okay, so right when you open this up, you see the, the brand, the con. The cane? Like Novocaine? Oh, it's an ice cube making bottle. It's an ice cube making bottle? Is it the circle ice cubes? It's the circle ice cubes. So you like open this up, you, you, you do this. Aha. So you do that and then you put water in it. Oh, <laughs> that was terrifying. Okay. I see. So you put water in this. I don't, I don't want you to have to see. Wow. That oddly satisfying. <laughs> um, Okay, so it's filling up the orbs. The orbs are being filled with, with liquid. We've now filled the water orbs with water. There's some air bubbles in here. So I'm gonna put this in the freezer as well, and we'll do another, we'll do an ice check-in later. <laughs> Speaking of ice check-ins, let's check on our tiny little ice cubes. They're working, they're getting there. They're not ready yet, they're just babies. This top is completely useless. Uh, this must have been the thing that cost $2.35. Like you just or order something on the picture and they just send you a completely separate thing. They're like, you needed ice, right? I was like, that's not what I asked for, AliExpress. And they're like, an ice tray is an ice tray. What shape it is, that's up to God. So it turns out I was bamboozled. On AliExpress, when you look for the spherical ice cube bottle maker thing, all of the photos are of the product that I intended to buy except for one. The last little photo right here is of our comically small ice tray. And that is what I received for $2.83. I've been had. It's just so funny how it's just her in the same pose, but they keep changing the backdrop. Also, the pose is so awkward. 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes a day for what? I think I want to get this simply so that I can recreate this video. AliExpress, good thing we've got an account now. All right, we've got two more. I'm like vaguely recalling what this is. So this, it, you do this. And then what? <laughs> I, I don't remember. Okay, um, the plastic, I will say, is very poorly, like it's very cheap plastic. Oh, is this, you like do the, you, you put like, your arms around it. Yeah, can you help me? <laughs> you put your arms under, like over it. Oh, okay. And then you oh. <laughs> Hey there, cricket back. <laughs> Looking pretty not straight, unlike me. <laughs> I'm a pretty straight back. All right, so let's move on to the last one. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to recognize this. And by recognize it, I mean, I remember the color. Wait, this is 
Okay, this is awesome. <laughs> I definitely need this. Creative spoof turtle bee doll turtle bee doll funny to send female girlfriends birthday gifts. Big turtle shell. Okay, I'm not female girlfriends birthday gift. How about male boyfriends YouTube video? Big turtle shell. It's going to be hard to live up to what we just witnessed because I also am not a small female girlfriend birthday gift, but a man can dream. And for the low, low price of $52.99, don't let your dreams be dreams. Shia LaBeouf. All right, let's do it. Buy it now. I think it was something that like we didn't believe that they would truly send it. Isn't it like a turtle? I just don't remember. Like that feels like a dream. Oh, it's vacuum. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is like vacuum sealed like a mattress. So does that mean that it's gonna like blow the fuck up when it's open? Okay, it's not popping open, so it's not like a mattress. I was nervous. It's a turtle shell. It's a giant turtle shell that people lie on. It's like a cushion. Oh yeah, there's places for your arms. This is the bottom. Oh, like you get in it? Yeah. <laughs> you get in it. This is, this is a guy who doesn't know a turtle shell. This is sick. <laughs> I'm kind of into this. What's good, Turtle Squad? It's your boy, Jarvertle. <laughs> Yo. Dipper doesn't like it. He's afraid of me. I'm a turtle now, Dipper. I'm a turtle now. Do you love me? Perhaps if I lead with my shell. <laughs> ah, life is a turtle. <laughs> Somebody help me. <laughs> I can't get up. Yo, what's good? <laughs> what's good, Turtle Squad? Ah, <laughs> oh, what a day. Well, this one gets a 10 out of 10. I'm, <laughs> I'm never taking this off. What's up? It's Jarverto Botticelli here. Um, just, just wrapped up my, my day of trying out awesome, totally practical hacks. Turtle's got a drink. <laughs> um, overall, pleasantly surprised. The highlights would probably be the turtle shell, the back straightener. Those are some of my favorites. Low lights, this thing. <laughs> Don't really know what it's for or why it's here. Did not order that. And, um, you know, the drink dispenser, let's be honest, it's not practical. <laughs> um, but otherwise, you know, things could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> Turtle power. <laughs> All right, yeah, so uh, I'll see you guys back at my desk for the ice check-in and for a few closing thoughts. All right, so it's time for the ice test, the ice check-in, so to speak. We've got our circular spherical ice situation uh, that will make ice balls. And uh, we've got this, which is a lie, a big fat lie. So I guess we can start with this. It's, it makes some tiny ice and it's not even that good. I, this is ice confirmed. This is the scam ice made from the, the scam product that I paid for by accident. And now for what we've all been waiting for, the circular ice, which is cool. Oh God, how do I get, okay. Well, maybe I'll try this. Okay. All right, so I've been running the top of this under hot water for like a while, and I have not tried to open it yet, so I hope that I've like loosened it enough. This is already pretty difficult. Uh, I don't know if this is intended. Uh, maybe I'm just a weak boy though as well, so. Oh my God. Does this screw? Oh, there we go. That explains why I couldn't just pull it. That's a screw situation. We're open, so now theoretically I can just. Wow. That worked out way better than expected. Not all of these orbs are in one piece though. So. All right, so far the first ice out is not circular. Okay, we did get a circular piece of ice. You be the judge. <laughs> not exactly what I would call a ball. It's more of like a planet with like a ring around it. You know what I mean? We got some more out. And 
they're kind of all like this. I don't really know if that's what I paid for. Some some of them are close. This seems this seems close. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's not my fault. I guess these will eventually turn into balls. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little disappointing. I wanted perfectly spherical balls of ice. And what I got is kind of like just a com more complicated way to make regular ice. It's not even that aesthetic. But I mean, is it a scam? No. Okay, yeah, a couple of these look more like balls. They all look like Saturns. <laughs> they all look like planet Saturn. And that's the ice check-in. And that's the video also. I forgot to record the outro that I said I was gonna record. So this is me doing that. It's morning. I have a flight in like three hours um, to go somewhere secret. And then, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video. My merch is back on sale, Jarvis.store. Um, that maybe it's in the YouTube merch shelf here. You can click on that and go to the store as well. I don't know.